So I didn't film uh, much of our patio trip just because it's uh, yeah, Patty is changing. Uh, it's not the same as it used to be. There's only a couple areas left uh, where the westerners go. Uh, so Tree Town, Soy Bukau is about the only place anymore. Everything else is getting taken over by the Indian and eight and Korean or Chinese, which no disrespect or anything, but it's changing. Uh, the Indian guys they come around to all the bars and they don't ha they don't spend any money. Only thing the Indian guys do is they come into town. And this is a story that I've heard on the internet. Their company send them into town for a three day trip, kind of as a reward for whatever they're doing. These are all the call center guys and things like that. So uh, they come into town, they get a couple uh, touristy things, and they take them to the soapy massage. Uh, so they go to the massage places, so you'll see them truckloads going in and out all day long um, And it's all only Indian guys anymore uh, for 99% uh, And then they just walk around the, the neighborhoods looking at stuff. They don't spend any money There's two or three of them four or five. They walk in the middle of the road They get angry when people honk at them because they're walking at the middle of the road uh, they harass all the girls, you know, trying to get the girls to go back and uh, on the beach road, you know, there's always coconut girls uh, freelance and they'll, they'll get three or four of them. Three or four of them will go together and get one girl and you always hear about them on the, on the different news sources in Patia where they got, they got drugged and uh, they'll put something in their water and they pass, make them pass out and then they'll steal all their shit from them. Uh, but that's, that's, you be stupid, that's what you deserve, I guess. But uh, it's just not a good thing for Patia. Um, I don't know why they're promoting so much. Starting to see more of the families. A lot of, all the Asians are coming in groups. Uh, you're very, I would say 75% are in a big group so they got the buses bring them into the barbecue places and man if i see buses there i'm not i'm not going because they're just they're just rude they push you out of the way they they're loud they're disgusting to watch them eat they, you know i just don't want to be around that so uh that's why we just don't spend much money in patty anymore it's just it's changing the demographics and you know I've been going all over the world I, I, I don't I don't care but you know when you travel you try to be respectful of the local area try to be respectful of other people um, but man it's just it's just changing it's just they I, I don't know it's a different I, I don't want to say too much but it's just a different vibe there now and uh, it just seems to be changing, you know, Westerners built Patia and, you know, I, I think a lot of people are tra starting to look for other places to go. The bars are not doing well uh, as a whole. Everything now is behind closed doors and I don't like going into the go-go places and stuff. Uh, I mean, the prices, number one, are getting sky high uh, and I'm not partaking in the girls uh, but that that is the prices are ridiculous compared to what they used to be bar fines and such so uh, and the, the girls are not as pretty as they used to be on the outside <laughs> sorry girls but they're just not just not what they used to be man there used to be just stunners everywhere you went and uh, I think the western way is creeping in everybody's getting heavier I'm a big fat boy myself, so I'm not, I, I, I'm, I'm not speaking out of school, but I mean, you guys are adopting our food and our food production methods and uh, everybody's gaining weight, seeing heavy kids, same in the States. The kids are all heavy. They just sit and play games and, uh, and see a lot of, a lot of big little kids here in Thailand. 
and then all the foreigners that are coming they're they're the same way so uh, I don't know it's uh, you look at the look at the people and look at the world and it's just changing so I'm not sure it's so good I mean the kids out here they're all thin because they're all outside playing you know nobody over here has video games they're the, the little neighborhood kids 90% of them are all thin and healthy because they're all running around playing all the time they're all on their phones though look she's walking down the road got her phone Liu's got a phone but I think that's the demise but anyway here I am on a phone <laughs> so irony but anyway well that's that's my spiel on that it's just not the same so I just didn't this was is you just same old stuff you see on everybody else's channels and uh, I got a lot of the videos that I put on that get the most uh, get 90% of the traffic are the ladyboy videos that I have I have two ladyboy videos that I was just out playing pool when I first got the patio and filmed those uh, and I could literally turn this channel into a ladyboy channel and make money with it uh, they for some reason everybody loves the ladyboy channels and I just don't want to do it man sorry so if you're here for that I'm, I just don't have any more content and I just couldn't bring myself to go make content like that just to get traffic so uh, that's what it is alright guys uh, try to enjoy the rest of this if you want if you haven't already tuned out uh, but uh, we just did the hotel a little bit and uh, a couple stops along the way uh, but this video is kind of crap but I'm gonna put it out anyway it's a real world uh, what else can a guy do you know I'm not gonna go out and gloss over everything so okay so how's everybody doing it's Wednesday the 19th of June uh, we got to go to we in Pichit City now. I had to go pick up uh, the Suzu, the tail light that I mashed up the other day thanks to Google Maps putting us on a road for motorcycles only. And I had to turn around and uh, the rear end swung and uh, just clipped the light. Thankfully, it was only the plastic, not the tail light, or not the not the bed of the truck or anything just got the tail light so that was a $50 mistake so thank you Google for great directions um, but we came to eat lunch at this little place so check this little spot out kitchens right over there and these little little bungalow building bananas with the leaf with the blossom another one right there we're in the bananas nice little spot Just decided to have a Leo it's early but it's all right Today is Thursday the 20th of July. Uh, we're headed to Pattaya to do my immigration check-in for 90-day check-in. Uh, first, first bathroom break of the day. We're at a little SO, but they have kind of a cute little Instagram location. Turn you around. They always got these little spots to ban pine wrong no room but got a little photo spot up there but what's cool is they're building this little fish pond or a little fountain I'd like to see that when it gets done a little bit out of time all by hand, making the old sand and cement.
little naga water wheel getting her fixed up So checked into the hotel. I had been here before, but it has changed name and themes. This is the Mood Hotel now. I can't remember what the name of it was, but it's only $20 a night. So we got the twin beds and very tiny toilet and very tiny shower, but it's clean. Uh, last time I was here was on the motorcycle, uh, been many years ago, and it was a lot of uh, the Asian tourists, and it looks like they probably have the same thing today. But we got a parking spot, that's all that matters. So down about uh, Soy 6.5 on 2nd Road. Uh, this is something new in the last couple years uh, this airplane has been sitting here it's a full-size 747 and they have now built a night market around it you come get some food do a little shopping but uh, kind of neat food's not too appealing though I think we're gonna move on but kind of a neat idea this thing was just sitting here for a long time and they did they tried to do stuff inside, but it hasn't worked out, so I don't know what they'll ever... It's working good as a night market. Neat little spot. So our kitchen is up and running. Uh, got the gas stove there and got running water here. And so where do we find Goy? We even got a barbecue station. Where do we find Goy? So we find Goy in the old house cooking <laughs> on charcoal. <laughs> she just loves to cook on her charcoal. Yeah, I see her. She wants some love. I'll be there in just a second. But she just loves to cook in her little house. Yes. Mm. You just always got to have some attention, don't you? Hmm? That's a little baby snow. Little Siamese mix. What are you doing, buddy? They're all eyes are bad. We took one to the vet who had the worst eye and she gave us some medicine, but it's not helping much. But you can see the Siamese in him. He's a mix because this is mama and then dad's a tabby. But you can still see the, the Siamese blood come out in him. He gets around pretty good. He's the biggest one of the three. Yes, yes, yes. And here's the current status of the old garden. Got eggplants over there. Kapow, which is holy basil, queen basil, some more basil. Been trying to get uh, cilantro going. Every time we grow it from seed, it just doesn't quite get off. I had a good rain last night, this morning. Uh, another eggplant, and then this is like a, just eat the vegetable, but it's pretty much done. So that'll be coming out. We got. Um, all these rings were completely full, but then the dirt compacts. So we've been trying to let them set. Uh, but these are the first ones that we planted. So as soon as this stuff's finished, we'll throw some more in. 
um, papaya. There, holy basil, eggplant, some ornamentals, some lemongrass. Uh, these are breadfruit tree. Let's see if I can find a fruit. We cut them down because they were so tall. Uh, look like we got any fruit over here. They were so tall, they were just leaning way over, so I took the tops out of them. And you can see they're already starting to spring back from that. And we took this tree here out. Um, just because this is supposed to be one of the best trees in the world as far as nutrition. Uh, but they're just freaking ugly and they make a mess and blah, blah, blah. So there's a the water hole. That'll be gone in a couple hours. That's just from last night's rain. And I don't know what this fruit is, but it is sour, sour, sour. There's some breadfruit on there. This one's got quite a few on there. Goy's got some, uh, I think they're cucumbers right there. So she's got those. I don't like where she put them, but that's on. that's her business. I try to keep these, trying to kill these guys. They are super hard to kill. I'm short of digging the stump up, which is what I've been doing. Uh, kefir lime. And this one's usually got limes on it. Uh, if I can find. But it's also got lots of thorns. So yeah, there's some limes right there. Oh, not that much, sorry. Oh, some kefir lime. Basically, she can just walk around out here and find food. But this is a work in progress papaya. I don't know what was there, but it looked like whatever it was died off. Another papaya, another eggplant, eggplant. There's another tree that we just need to get dug out. But she already planted stuff around it, so those are kind of pretty. Not sure what they are, but, but yeah, slowly but surely, all this, all the dirt and these came from that hole back there. So that's all doing that by hand, and uh, neither one of us can take that very long. So we do a couple buckets, and then we're done. Uh, like this, she eats. She makes tea um, out of these guys. So they put on, that's like a pea, small pod. Of course, mangoes, this tree is done for the year. And then this one, she peels all the leaves off and uses the leaves. I don't know what the heck that's for, but anyway. Tamarind tree. So it's uh, finished for the year. There's one left up over there, but it's it'll start coming back here in a few months. About October, November. The jackfruit, this one's seen better days. Uh, I still got one fruit up there. But it's, none of the fruit are very good on this one. It's, so I wanna take this one out. And uh, just we need light over here. And it'll give that tamarind tree more room to grow. Because right now it's leaning, trying to get sunlight between these, between the mango and the jackfruit. It just doesn't have enough room. And that's par for the course for Ty. Plant everything close. This mangoes putting mangoes on now, so I'm excited to taste these guys. See if they're how good they are. And we bought some little lime trees. These are regular lime. We're actually starting to get a fruit right there. Uh, 
Yeah, gonna be lots of mangoes on this tree. And this tree, I've been trying to keep the keep it trimmed up and keep the ants out of it. But you can see the ants just love these mangoes. And I just every time they start to build a little house, I try to knock it out. Ponds are doing good. They were a little bit hot, but we got some good rain last night. We got got quite a few little babies in there, probably about 10 babies and a big old snail. That's what's been eating up all my been eating up all my lilies. It's that season where they'll start coming out. I found a found this guy this morning. Well I had a crab in there 15 20 minutes ago and that one out there, but he is scootered already. Just a little tiny crab, about that big. Uh, they use, it's just the rice paddy crabs. They uh, put them in some time, they collect them from the rice paddies. And I don't know where they go during the dry season. They must bury themselves and uh, stay pretty well hid. So I'm experimenting with different types of filters. So I tried putting this air nozzle in there, but it just doesn't pump enough air to do that. So I actually put a pump inside this snack container, plastic container, and put some filters in there. So looks like it's cleared up a little bit, but these are this all sol solar powered, so there's no electricity running over there. And I got these little lighted up ones. They're cheap, like 15 bucks. That one out there. So. <laughs> got some flowers I need to find a home for tomatoes are getting a little bit bigger and pot boom I'm gonna put in that tank out front <clears throat> and grow pot boom out there in the water a little aquaponics put some fish in there but that's mini tour